Hello friends. Welcome to the next video podcast on easy peasy theory. Today's topic is Mikhail Bakhtin's chronotope. Have you heard of Mikhail Bakhtin and chronotope? Yes, Mikhail Bakhtin, everybody knows, the Russian formalist and theorist who talked about heteroglossia, dialogism, polyphony, carnivalesque. Now, what is chronotope? Chronotope is the intersection of time and space in literature. In every literary work, there is an intersection of time and space. Every literary work is set in a particular time and a particular space, isn't it? Now, Bakhtin argued that every literary work has its unique chronotope. Every literary work creates a new, unique intersection between space and time. And this intersection of space and time is not simply a static background to the story. You know, it is not that the story is set in a particular time, in a particular space. No, this is different. Chronotope plays an active role in shaping the characters and the plots. The chronotope influences the way in which the narrative develops. The chronotope influences the way in which the characters behave. For example, take a 19th century romance like Tess of the D'Urbervilles. It is set in the British countryside. As all of you know, it is set in Wessex. Now, there is a certain atmosphere in that novel that shapes the behavior of Alec D'Urberville or Tess or Angel Clare. The relationships between these characters is defined by both that time and that space, the natural landscape, the customs and social practices, the economic relations of the people, the sufferings during the long revolution, the political climate of the time, all these influence the way in which the story unfolds. So the concept of chronotope is a way to analyze the relationship between literature and social reality. I hope you've understood this concept and that you enjoyed this discussion. Thank you very much. See you again in the next episode of Easy Peasy Theory. Bye.